Hello, uh, Tony Radford here from West Town Web Services. In this podcast, you're going to hear three great tips on agile software development. Hi, Tony. Thanks for inviting me to talk about how I help organizations to develop software more effectively. My name's Ian Carroll, and you can follow my blog at iancarroll.com for tips, insights, and techniques for lean and agile software development. Okay, so tip number one, don't focus on being agile. And what I mean by that is, don't make being agile your end goal. You will fail if you do. What you need to do is make your end goal effectiveness. We all want to do better software. We all want to deliver it more effectively. Okay. You need to think of agile as the means to the end, not the end in itself. Agile is made up of hundreds of practices. Some are technical practices, some are project management practices, and some are ceremony to help people interact and communicate more effectively. You are not going to adopt them all overnight, so just relax. Start with what you do now and enrich your ways of working by cherry-picking the practices that can help you solve problems as and when you face them. But whatever you do, don't announce a big Agile transformation program. You know the thing, hey everyone, we're going to do Agile, as you're setting yourself up to fail. Tip number two, retrospectives. A retrospective is a meeting where the team get together in a room and review their working practices and put changes in place to improve their ways of working. Get retrospectives in place as soon as possible. You'll want to retrospect as frequently as possible, but most teams start by running retros, say, every two weeks. Retros are your primary vehicle to identify problems, look for corrective actions, and adapt your ways of working to be more effective. Once you've identified some problems, you can then look across the hundreds of Agile practices on offer and pick the right ones to introduce to see if they help to solve your problem. Yes, you will probably uncover lots of problems in your first few retros, but don't try to boil the ocean. Just go for some low-hanging fruit to start with. Tip number three, workplace visualisation. Find a wall space, preferably near to where the team are, and create a card wall. Basically, when you break your work down into tasks, you simply write each task onto an index card or a post-it note and stick it in a column on the wall. Each column has a title. For example, some people may use to do, doing and done. Some teams use more columns to show in more detail the value creation process, i.e. analyze, develop, test, showcase and done. The card wall is a very low tech, quick to adapt, highly transparent tool to rapidly improve effectiveness. So that's my top three tips for successful agile adoption. I'm Ian Carroll. Thanks for listening.